Welcome to the No Fun Channel. I'm Felix, and this is YouTube channels I watch. Next up is Gouda Foods. I actually came across Gouda Foods when I was looking for more best ever food review shows or show, and I just wanted something more like that, like Sunny does, and Gouda Foods popped up. And the thing with this show is, it's not it's not like uh, the best ever food review show. It's an experiment show, really. Uh, I've been watching for about three years now, and it usually consists of Gouda, Angel, and Leo. And basically, the three of them, it didn't always consist of just the three of them, but uh, now primarily it is just the three of them. And Gouda will fix food in in all kinds of ways, and it's really interesting. He He'll dry age meats and just about anything he'll do chick-fil-a sauce vegemite and nutella and those are just three of the ones that he did he's done a whole bunch and he'll dry he even tried dry eating chicken for a really long time and it it, it didn't turn out good <laughs> but yeah he, he his primary thing is steak he fixes steak different ways and he found some very interesting interesting ways to fix steak that he was very surprised by and i think one of the things i really love about the show is that is his fearlessness to do and try anything with the food. And it's just, sometimes it's great. And sometimes it's like, it was a crime against humanity. And they should have never done it. <laughs> Cause there are times where they will smell it. It's like, no. And there are times where they'll smell it a little questionable and then they'll taste it. And it's like, they're ready to vomit. And so it's very interesting to watch. I have a lot of fun watching it. It's rare that I don't watch an episode of his. Usually if I don't end up watching the episode, it's because I went off to do something else and I might forget about it, but eventually I'll end up watching it anyways. But yeah, he, a lot of the foods he comes across or cooks is is very interesting. I know he's done, he actually, uh, what was it, he dry aged a tongue and I thought that was very interesting. <laughs> it was like, I want to say it was a cow's tongue, but uh, yeah, he dry aged a tongue and it was like, I would never have thought to do that. <laughs> But yeah, the, the biggest draw for me on the show is the experimentation uh, and also the reactions. They're very honest in their reactions. Uh, there are times where he doesn't like it and the other two like it. Or there are times where Angel doesn't like it and Leo likes it and, and Gouda sometimes on a fence. And so that's a big draw for me with food shows if they're honest. It was just one of the reasons why I like best ever food review show. So basically what I was looking for is just honesty in food shows. Too many times you'll have food shows where everyone says the food is delicious. And the reality is they did not like that food. And I I don't, you can tell too. You know, they take a bite and they're like, Rrr. but with them, as soon as they take a bite, they will let you know. And, oh, I do know he once uh, took the chip challenge and made uh, like a uh, rub and put it on steaks and had them try it. So. It's been very interesting, the stuff he does and comes up with. Now, he also has another channel called Sue V Everything. It's very similar to the main channel. On that channel, though, he basically just Sue V's. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Sue V is, it's basically uh, a meat in, that's been uh, air packed or uh, air silt. I can't think of the word for it. But uh, put into one of those packages where it's like, the air's all been sucked out of, out of it, and then you boil it. Uh, it's basically that, and but it's controlled. It's like a super, really super tech. It's not technical, not really super technical, but it's a controlled boil that you do for over an hour or so. And then he'll uh, cook it up or fry it up or something with it. And, he'll, and a lot of times when he sous vide stuff, he'll sous vide it with things, different things to see how it turns out. Because uh, when you vacu vacuum, so that's the word. When you vacuum, you seal something, you're drawing out all the air and it's allowing stuff to go into the meat. So he'll do that. And in the, in the experimentations that he does on there are just as insane as some of the things he's vacuum sealed. And sometimes he'll vacuum seal it and dry age as well. But I watch both channels and it's just interesting, the, the experimentations that he comes up with. Now, he does have a third channel called Gouda, which I didn't realize he had. I haven't watched, now to be honest, I haven't watched that one because I didn't know it existed. But uh, but then again, I was looking at some of the stuff that I, on that channel, I think, I think I have been watching and just didn't know it. 
But uh, yeah, it's uh, from what I've seen, it's, it's, it didn't look like there was much experimentation on that channel as the other two. I think that one is more straightforward. But uh, I'll link. I'll put a link for all three channels. But yeah, when it comes to Gouda Foods, I do enjoy watching the experimentations, the honesty of the reactions. There's nothing like it. So if you're looking for honesty in your food review show, I definitely recommend watching Gouda Foods or sous vide or sous vide everything and uh, the one that's just called Gouda. Uh, so yeah, I would recommend Gouda Foods. Now he's already very popular. Uh, again, by the off chance you haven't heard of him, you're looking for a good food review channel, definitely recommend it. Or in this case, a good food experimentation channel and an honest reaction to the exp- to the experiment. Uh, but yeah, I, like I said, I definitely recommend them. That's my take on Gouda Foods. You guys have a nice day.